Howdy, it's Matt, and in this episode we're going to be having a chit chat about the Vorti. Now as you'll see here in the background, we're taking off and this is some onboard footage with the Vorti gun. Now before we go any further, it's really important for you to take stock, because you can't see it and you can't hear it, is that just how windy that day was. So the wind's coming from down there to the bottom right hand corner just a few moments ago, uh, and it really was a windy day. We were talking 15 to maybe 20 miles an hour wind at the flying site. It was really gusty coming over the hedge line, which you can see just down there on the right hand side. Now, also do note there is no stabilizer in this wing at all. Uh, it's all au naturel. Now, with that said, there's a really interesting thread over in the Facebook group, and it's from Dave. And Dave says, as a mini Drac owner, should I buy a Vorti? Now, one of the best comments was actually the first comment, which was from Richard. Surely it's like, <laughs> it's surely it's different to a mini Drac, which it is. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about a few of the disparities between them. Uh, if so, yes, I have a lot of music CDs because I like to listen to different albums depending upon my mood. I think that's the easiest way of putting it. Now the way in which it differs is the way in which it handles wind. For me, that is the biggest difference. Oh, uh, and the ability to carry 10,000 milliamp as a battery and just cruise it in mere 10 amps. So the two things which I mentioned there is ability to cope with wind and the other one is the more battery. And that's the biggest thing I think is because this model is bigger, so we're dealing with a 1. Well, 1.2 meter wingspan, I think it's 122 centimeters off the top of my head. Uh, we are dealing with uh, a much wig bigger wingspan than the Mini Drac. And you'll see me having struggling here going down the back uh, of the hedge line because that's where the wind's hitting the hedge and it's really quite turbulent in there. Uh, so I think that's about as shaky as you're gonna see for the rest of this flight. Anyway, getting back to my point. Uh, is that it's got a bigger wingspan, it's a thicker cord, and it just genuinely just mops up the wind conditions. Other models will get in thrown around that day, and this one just kind of lapped it up, and you didn't really notice uh, that it was that windy. In fact, the only way which you've noticed that it really is windy is that on the final approach, which is coming up in about five minutes' time, uh, is that as I'm coming into land, the model really does slow down heavily uh, and we landed down gracefully. Now let's get on to the other point here, which is the amount of battery which you can store in this model. Now I've been a set mine up with the motor on the back end of the model itself. Now the model did come with two 3D printed mounts and the other mount, uh, you, you can set it so you can have the motor either out the back, like you can see here, or you can have the motor as an in-runner, so it's inside the actual model area, like fuselage center section, if that makes any sense. Now the benefit of doing that is that it's easier for you to hit the center of gravity. And as you can see here, uh, I'm just gently pushing myself up uh, towards the clouds. The clouds are really, really quite a low cloud base that day, so uh, they were very, very easy to go up and reach. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, you've got to make a best of a worst day, you know? Anyway, getting back to my point, is the motor placement will make a big difference on whether you want to run your Vorti with just one 5200 pack, for example, in the nose, or you want to do like what I'm doing, I've got motor on, the motor on the back so it's in free air uh, and uh, creates less noise. And on the flip side, I have to run two large, slightly larger batteries in the front, which I'm using the Multistar 5200 Forest Packs. Now, of course, you could use a multitude of other packs. Um, I'm just going to be sticking with the Multistars. They just work really, really well. And like I said, this model just cruises for 10 amps and that seems to work out all right, if that makes any sense. So let me just get check my notes on here. Yeah, it really does pay very little attention to, to the wind at all. And it's definitely, and of course, it's it's definitely bigger than mini, the mini drag. Now, the one characteristic which it is missing, uh, which is, again, I think it's just unique to the mini drag, is the way in which the mini drag just sits its butt in uh, when you're coming into, uh, you bring it into a straight, uh, and uh, it just sits its butt in and then just, just gets in if that makes sense it just it's like flying on rails you don't have unfortunately that kind of experience here uh with the Vorti at all which is sad but on the flip side it just you don't necessarily need that it's just it's a very nice feeling when it happens put it that way now i did mention that it does cruise for 10 amps now i'm using the turnigy uh, sk3 
1400 uh, 3536 motor with an 8x6 propeller uh, and it does pull 50 60 amps uh, I think it's 55 amps at full knacker now I did change the ESC to 100 amp ESC so I could kind of get a better idea of what it was going to be doing uh, and yeah the motor is coming down a little bit warm so I may need to change or I probably should change that 8x6 propeller down to an 8x4 5 propeller uh, so that we are pulling less amps and we're not putting so much strain uh, on the motor itself. Now you'll see that we're on our way back down and you can really see how low that cloud is. It really wasn't that high at all. Uh, but it, it was absolutely piling across our heads uh, where it really was that windy that day. And again, if you were looking at this footage right now, is that you wouldn't guess that it's like 15 mile an hour winds and there's gusts going on at all. You wouldn't guess that by just looking at this footage. It's Remember, there's no stabilizer in it. I, I, I was planning to put iNav on this one, but seeing the way which it responds to the wind, uh, and, and I would class as borderline adverse conditions, <laughs> again, we were struggling with the other stuff which we were flying uh, as well, uh, is that it just did so, so well. So if I do put iNav on it, uh, it will just be for additional features, okay? Maybe a stabilized mode and maybe return to home as well. But for goodness sake, as you can see here, right in front of us ourselves right now, this model does not need any form of stabilization at all. Now, in a previous video, which I put out, I did also clip a tree with it. Whoops, a daisy. Uh, and when I did clip the tree, it just rolled over and landed on his bum and there wasn't any damage more than my pride if that makes sense so the Vorti uh genuinely impressed with it so far it is quite a different model to the mini drag the mini drag has many positive sides to it uh, i'm just sticking with the positive sides to the Vorti uh which is that it's relatively inexpensive i think it's out now for about 89 quid give or take a few pounds uh it can take 10,000 milliamp fears just pause for a moment to, to absorb that 10,000 milliamp is a battery pack uh, and it really does just not phased by the wind at all so in a few moments time we do have the final approach and again I've just gone up back up to the clouds like I said they are work that well they are were super low that day uh, so I've gone back up in them because hey why not you know it's there of course the, it, it, there's going to be no light aircraft around on that day it was just too windy for them etc uh, etc et and I'm just making the most of it uh, making the most of a bad day's weather if that makes sense so uh, we're bringing it around and you'll notice is that now we've got the wind behind us now you'll notice that the ground speed has picked up quite heavily compared to what we were fighting the wind just a few moments ago uh, so I'll bring it back round the back uh, and you'll see that me I, I'm here fighting the wind now. Now watch how f how much this model slows down. So this is the final approach across to the, the landing strip and look how much it slowed down. That's how windy it was that day. Anyway, the Vorti. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the video description. I sincerely hope that you've enjoyed this video. For myself, Matt, cheerios. Oh, and landed. <laughs>